Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In uh, this video I'd like to mainly focus on the genus Fidoli. Um This will include uh, the 50 queen colony that I started uh, a few months ago and um, my other dual queen colony as well as some founding queens. So to start off I'd like to show you guys this 50 queen colony here. As you can see, it's a tubs and tubes setup, uh, three test tubes, and uh, most of the queens seem to be in uh, this last one here. And uh, unfortunately, the test tube is molding. Because this uh, test tube is molding here, uh, you can see up against the cotton, um, it's pretty black, which is not very good for the queen's health and all um, that kind of stuff. So I've added in this test tube here with the foil and um, I've exposed them to light and hopefully they'll move into the other test tube which is much cleaner but uh, other than that the col this colony is doing uh, pretty well um, I think maybe one or two more queens have um, kicked the bucket but that's to be expected with this many really um, when I started this uh, colony here. I wasn't expecting the full 50 to survive, um, but uh, it's definitely worked pretty well so far. Um, they've got a fair amount of brood and a decent amount of workers now. You uh, might be able to see some eggs and uh, larvae under the bodies of the queens there. Yes, there's a lot of uh, gunk on the top of the test tube as well, which is not good as well. Another reason why I want to get them out of this. It's uh, much easier to film through a clean test tube than one like this. But under there, there's they do have a fair amount of brood. So hopefully once they get some more workers, um, they'll be a bit more encouraged to get out of this test tube. Moving on. Uh, the next Fidole colony I'll be showing you is my Jewel Queen colony. Um, you guys saw this one fairly recently in uh, the past episode. At this stage, um, they have at least, I think there's five pupae on the top of the massive brood pile there. Here's maybe a better look at the uh, brood they have. Um, as you can see, the, there's one, two massive chunky larvae there. They're definitely major larvae, so um, I explained a bit more upon what the majors are in the uh, last video so if you haven't uh, watched that check it out but it's awesome to see how fast their brood is developing I'm definitely going to keep uh, feeding these guys heaps of protein heaps of uh, honey and this will keep the colony developing at such a rapid pace oh have a look at this um, I just came across this and uh, it's not looking the best this is a small Campanotus colony and uh, it seems I think their test tube has leaked or maybe just some water's come out of it and spilled and they've been flushed out and now their brood pile is in the middle of the open. I was trying to get these guys into this small setup here. Hopefully, uh, I sure, I'm sure they've found it. I'll just, uh, I'm going to have to remove this test tube though. Luckily, I had moved these guys into a tubs and tubes setup, otherwise they probably would have drowned. Anyway, back to the main focus of the video. The uh, last Fidole species I'd like to show you is this queen here. She is a single queen with no eggs at the moment. Um, this is Fidole antipodum. Um, a fairly rare Fidole species and uh, and one that's similar to uh, Carabara. In Australia we only have a few tiny tiny species of uh, Carabara and uh, this is the closest thing we have to um, something like uh, Carabara diversa that you guys in uh, Asia have. So this is a pretty cool queen. Um, I'd like to move her into a bit bigger uh, test tube uh, this is what I bought her in, and uh, it's uh, probably a little bit on the smaller side for her. 
but it uh, did the trick so far. Um, because I think the test tube is obscuring some of her colours, um, I might just get her out for a second and then put her in a new 20mm test tube. Well, there she is. Uh, the colour's not quite right on the camera. It doesn't do it justice. She's got a really uh, orangey red gaster and even. Just doesn't do it justice. She's she's really quite large, um, probably one and a half times the size of the other Fidole queens I was showing you. Closer to something like um, a meat ant queen or a Campanotus consabranus uh, or other things that are that large. Actually, as a uh, size comparison, I'll put my C consabranus in the background. So you can get a better idea. So she's still smaller than a C Consabranus. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and just as an ending note, if you guys uh, know what kind of queen ant this is, um, just let me know in the comments. I'm really uh, baffled. It like looks really weird. I'm not really sure what uh, species it is, species it is. So. Uh, just uh, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm really stumped on this one.